Watch out, this cat has claws! Hey! What's up my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Hot Toys Captain America Civil War Black Panther! So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have a nice image of Black Panther, Captain America Civil War. This is from a movie, in case you didn't know. Black Panther on this side of the box, we just have a uh, Black Widow right there. You got Bucky, you got Falcon, and on the back here, you have Cap, you have Iron Man, you have Giant Man going on there. United we stand, divided we fall. Warning! Please don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And when you remove the sleeve here, remove the sleeve with the greatest of ease. <laughs> you can see right in here is the tray where the figure sits. Divided we fall. And you have Iron Man's uh, arc reactor logo here because he's on Team Iron Man. Black Panther on the top, Black Panther on the bottom, Captain America Civil War. And on the back you have the credits of all the people responsible for the production of this figure. And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along here we have Black Panther. A very cool figure and a very cool character. I loved him in the movie. I thought he was awesome. Um, so let's get in close here so we can take a look. At all of this wonderful detailing here, you can see the helmet here, uh, very nicely done. There's a lot of detail going on here with the helmet that I, I didn't even notice all this detail in the movie. And uh, that's, that's really cool. You can see the eyes are done in silver and even have like a texture to them, which is just really, really well done. But overall, like a ton of detail here in the helmet. You also get some nice silver. My silver trim throughout and looks really cool. Very nicely done helmet. Let me see the back here. This, I really love the design of the helmet. Very cool. And you got the collar piece here, which is all done in silver. Looks very nice, nicely detailed. These bits right here are a little bit on the sharp side, so do be careful with them. They're kind of pointy. You could kind of hurt yourself on those if you're not careful. The suit itself, I mean, it's just a, you know, one-piece bodysuit, but there's a lot of detail going on here, which is very nice. You also get some little extra bits of silver here on the waist. Get these pieces going around his forearms here, and they're done in black and that nice silver. And again, these are kind of pointy, so be careful. These gloves there, again, have a nice detail to them. Got a little texture to them. And going down the legs. Again, very cool design. You know, it's not just a plain black suit. There's actually a lot going on here. And uh, very cool. And down to his boots, which again have a little texture to them, which looks very nice. He's got his claws, you know, silver back claws there. Very nice. And going up the back here again, you can see all that nice detail there in the suit. And that looks really, really cool. Let's look at all that going on there. That's really cool. Very, very, very nicely designed. I do quite dig it. You can see his bazillion ab muscles here <laughs> poking through the suit because, you know, you got to work out, man. You got to work out if you want to be a superhero. You got to get your abs right. You got to get ripped, man. You got to get ripped. Anyway, so there you have that. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you can get some wiggly-waggly movement there. You can have them looking up a very good ways. Okay, whoops, and you can pop his head off the ball joint. <laughs> that just pops right back on. Uh, the neck itself is also on a ball joint, so the neck itself will move pretty much anywhere you want it to go. So you can just tilt his whole neck if you don't want to just tilt his head. So you have a lot of range of movement going on there. The arms can move up about that far, can move back about that far before the suit kind of starts to interfere. Actually, he has a good range of movement despite having a skin-tight bodysuit on. This figure actually does have a very nice range of movement. Arms can go all the way out. Um, you do have a bicep swivel in there. You do have an elbow bend with over 90 degrees of movement. Uh, the wrists do swivel as well as that hinge in there so depending on how you have everything oriented you can have the hand going any way you want the upper torso is on a ball joint so you can get all like i'm a black panther i'm a black panther anyway you get some good crunching going on there 
have marches back. He does have a waist swivel that is a bit hindered by the suit itself. It only allows you to go, but so far, but that's actually, you know, it's a decent range of movement right there. Legs can go forward that far, can go back, not too far. That's about it. Outward movement, you can get it out about that far before things start to get a little uncomfortable there and you don't want to worry about splitting anything there. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel. The knees have a nice full range of movement, which is quite nice. And the feet are on a ball joint. They can move up a bit, move down, and you get some tilt going on there. So he's actually pretty poseable despite having the uh, the skin tight suit on. It's, it seems like this suit has a lot more uh, has a lot more stretch to it than uh, some of the other suits that I've seen on these Hot Toys figures. So he actually has a decent range of articulation. Now, as far as accessories go, he doesn't include a lot. He does also include the uh, stand right here, Captain America: Civil War. You can see Iron Man's arc director right there, because again, he was on Team Iron Man. You can see right there the nameplate, Black Panther, Captain America Civil War. Got a symbol right there. Of course, I always leave the uh, little protective plastic on there because it's a nice shiny silver plate right there. And of course, it includes the little armature here that you just plug in to the base. This is always a bit of a chore to get on. Come on. Get, get, get. Yeah. There we go. It's a bit hard to get that snapped on. And it has the adjustable cradle which will cup him ever so gently in his unmentionables. Oops, I mentioned them, but anyway, there you have the stand. Uh, you do also get alternate hands. Uh, the hands that are on him right now are just the closed fists, but you do also get some little grasping hands here, grr, grr, which again are very nicely detailed if the camera will focus. focus. There you go. Get very nicely detailed. And you can see the claws right there are picked out in a nice silver. So you get these hands, and you also get these hands with the claws fully extended here. Those look very cool, so he's just about to scratch you up. He's about to do all kinds of that to you, and if you have a cat, you know what that's all about. You know what that's about if you own cats, but anyway. <laughs> Very cool. One thing I will say is definitely be careful with these hands because these claws, again, they're they're pointy. They're 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 a little on the sharp side. So definitely be careful with these because you could poke yourself really good with these claws. And I have a couple times already, and it it, it hurts. It it hurts. But anyway, um, the hands are very easy to swap out. Just pop them off. Hopefully, you don't pull out the entire wrist peg with it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes you pull out the whole wrist peg with it, but that's okay. They just pop right back in. Not the end of the world. And you just pop the hands on. And again, be very careful. It's best if you kind of hold it like that. It's going to have the claws going around your thumb. Because otherwise, you will poke yourself. And it, it hurts. <laughs> it, 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 it hurts, man. So I do exercise caution when you're dealing with those claws there. But the hands do swap out very easily. You can get them all, you know, that's pretty cool. And of course you get an extra set of wrist pegs should you happen to break the ones that are on him right now, which is always very much appreciated. And just for a comparison, we'll bring in Cap here. We'll bring in the Man of Iron, just so you can see. How he scales there with those two. So, there you have that. And there you have that. And that is pretty much it. That's all there is to talk about uh, with this figure. I mean, like I said, he doesn't include a lot of accessories. You just get some extra hands and the stand. And that's pretty much it. And, yeah, <laughs> not a whole lot uh, accessory-wise with this figure. But still a very cool figure nonetheless of a very cool character. If I remember correctly, I think the pre-orders for this figure went up before the movie came out.
and I had no intention of buying him. Um, and then I saw the movie and I was like, yeah, I, I need to get me a Black Panther. I think literally right after we got out of the movie, I went on BBTS and, and put in my pre-order for it because I thought he was just awesome in the movie. I loved him in the movie. I thought he was so cool. So yeah, after the movie, I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to get me a Black Panther. I'm very happy with him. Very cool figure. I, I really, really dig him. Like, again, accessory wise, not a whole lot going on. You just got some extra hands in a stand and that's pretty much it. But as far as I'm concerned, that's all I need. He's cool. He's awesome. I love him. He's the Black Panther. Yes. And he is going to be getting his own movie, and I can't wait to see that. I hope it turns out good. And, uh, yeah, so. There you go. So if you would like a Black Panther, any other Hot Toys figures, you can always check out BigBadToysStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Hot Toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Hot Toys, Captain America, Civil War, Black Panther, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face! Well, Cap, I'd like to introduce you to my newest ally, meet Black Panther. So how did you get him to join you? Simple. I keep catnip in my suit. Really? That's all it took? I am not a hard man to please.